Hey, good morning everybody. It's about 7.50 and I just got off the MRT at Sudasan Station. It's five or six train stops past Sukhumvit on the MRT line and the uh, Sok BTS Junction. Yeah, I'm just out here exploring around on this Thursday morning. This is busy Ratchapitsik, which I'm starting to figure out. They also call Ratchada, I guess shortened. But yeah, right at the base of uh, the MRT station are some condo options. Let's start uh, over here with the Aspira One. Aspira One. Six story Aspira One. So it is on. And here's an international legal and business con consultation. And down this way, maybe a mile, you'll find the uh, Hu Kuang MRT station. And across the street is the Centric building. I'm sure you could exit on that side of the MRT, no problem. And down in this area is the Embassy of the Republic of Turkey. And there's the street sign if you're trying to follow along on Google Maps. I didn't see any other large buildings tucked away back here, so I think. Yeah, I'll take a look at the first uh, little area, but I'm gonna make a U-turn. There were a couple of buildings almost attached to the MRT. The closer you are to that train, the easier your commute will be in the heat and rain. Yeah, it's the uh, just the back of that uh, Aspira one. Oh, I do see a Cabbages and Condoms Cafe. That's kind of a famous restaurant, either up on Soy 10 or 12. Sukhumvit and there's another one in whoa what is that by Jamtian in Padia is it Prakanak Hills so the Cabbage and Condoms Cafe I'm assuming it's just a smaller version of those restaurants and I apologize I'm pointing straight into the Sun I see a KFC down the way and a Lotus Go Fresh it's just a smaller version of the grocery store and as I'm coming up to the first soy, try not to get hit here, everybody's rushing off to uh, work. Let me get the, uh, the sign. I don't see too many larger condo options. I see some six-story buildings down the way. But let's keep it close to the, uh, the MRT. Why not? I'm sure we can walk a mile and every direction and then find different options but let's keep it simple so we're now walking behind the uh, oh I'm already forgetting what was the first building attached to the uh, attached to the train station and I'll get the name when we get back up there here's uh, plenty of massage options and of course I don't see the name back here but it was that first building there are some other six-story options off to the right here And it is busy. Everybody's hustling around. Let's go take a look over here. See what's back here. Nice little coffee bar. And there's our landmark. The MRT station at Ratchapisik is directly on the other side of that building. I would assume there's even a little shortcut through cut through there but it was a very easy walk to get back here. And there's a series of very nice looking buildings on the right, six story or eight story units. And the first one is the Ivy, Ratchada. Oh, the Ivy's actually uh, larger than I thought, at least three towers. I thought that was a separate building. And here's some kind of building skybox. And I'm always interested in these little shortcuts and side soys, but I think I'm just going in a big horseshoe, so I'm gonna continue down this way. He's off to the left. And I'm not sure what this business is, Interlink. Interlink Telecom, okay. Everybody's heading to work.
never been in this area so it's uh it's always good to explore a new spot and from here to a sulk if uh or Sukhumvit MRT station if that we're calling is kind of the central of Bangkok 15 minutes or less on the MRT it's not that far at all and you'll find these EV chargers all over town that one's marked MG which uh, used to be the British auto company it's now uh, Chinese and I see a lot of those electric MG's running around Bangkok and this looks like an empty office building at least that side. Maybe that side is occupied. There's some cars below. And on the left here, there are plenty of little businesses with uh, three or four apartments. I'm assuming they're apartments above. And that's that little alley I first saw. Yeah, I had an idea it just popped out over here. So I didn't miss much. And this is the Golden Pyramid One Asia business. This is Blue Venture, 7-Eleven in the Space 48. And there's a coffee shop called Cool Coffees. And some older apartments. They look to be on the next street, but we'll make our way over there. And this is DBD business, whatever that is. Next to the SAI, System Something Group. Yeah, this is definitely a little uh, technology center. And I'm also walking past the Bangkok Revenue Office. You'll find those all over town. I think they're the tax offices, but there are plenty of guards and what look to be military uniforms in the parking lot. So I'm not pointing my camera in that direction. And here's some affordable drinks. Everybody is uh, setting up shop, trying to get those customers rushing to the train, getting a quick bite to eat. That's right to Pisic where you see the bus. And this is another little business office. But we're going to head off to the right. And I see some other smaller buildings off that way. Uh, on Rachapisic, I don't see any other large condos on this side anyhow. So let's see what's up this way. And here's a small hotel. I'm not sure how you say that. Cali Piso 2 Hotel. And a little local building in a triangle shape. Another cool little coffee shop. And this is pretty tight on the traffic. I see the cars coming around, hugging that corner. There's a Topps Daily. Topps a grocery store. Topps Daily is just a little bit bigger than a 7-Eleven. But I wanted to see what was down here. I see some uh, low-rise apartment options this is looking down this direction well let's keep it close to uh, the MRT station first up is the chateau in town which I'm assuming they're apartments a couple of more down this way but there is a gate well, on the right here, I think that's just the back of one of those office buildings. But that is also the chateau in town. So two towers. Yeah, those are definitely apartments. And there's the uh, address. Well, chateau in town, Rachida 20 slash 2. And we're just getting into a little bit quieter Thai neighborhood. I see this building, but... Uh, Maybe the entrance is around the corner. Let's go find out. Well, this sign says it's the Ratchet 20. So I'm not sure if it's that or that. Yeah, that's where we were walking on the other side. So you can cut through here and you're at the 7-Eleven right there. This all appears empty. And also some beautiful private homes in the area. When I'm out getting lost in a neighborhood right where that motorbike pulled out, I just saw two other 
motor taxis head in that direction so I just go in the direction of the motor taxis they normally uh, know where all the streets go through and just a very short walk back here off the busy Ooh, it's tripping here Racha is uh, this nice little mellow neighborhood Yeah, I've gotten myself into uh, just a little neighborhood back here, <laughs> winding around, but that's okay. I'm just out for a walk and uh, seeing new things. And I could come around the corner and there's a cool little eight-story building. Here's a cool little neighborhood store. And here's a business, TriStar. And that grayish building, that's our landmark. We know the MRT station is right below. So on the other side of this building would be Rachapisic. Rachida. So I'm gonna go up here. I don't see any huge condo options, but let's go down and see what's happening. Take a left, maybe get back out on the main road. Here's a little kindergarten. And that is bathroom and kitchen services. And I'm assuming everybody's traffic-wise heading this way to get over to Ratsapisic. Here's a little restaurant. Just a mellow locals building, but I like uh, I like the architecture of that old building. Here's a cafe Amazon, and as suspected, I'm popping out on Ratsapisic off to the left, not far. It's the Searsit MRT station. Let's get back out there and uh, see if we see any large buildings on the horizon. A beautiful home furnishing store. And another just across the way, lifestyle home decoration. And across the street peeking out, I think it says the Champra Park Hotel. And off in this direction, I think it's the next MRT station is La Prau. I really need to get out there and explore around. I'm getting a little tired and it's hot. So I'm gonna head back towards uh, home. But yeah, Laprau is kind of the new go-to spot. If I talk to 10 Thai people, they live in Laprau. It, it's the same as uh, on Newt 10 years ago, just going out that uh, short distance. And we're not that far. I'd guess Laprau is less than 20 minutes on the MRT to a soak and you just get a lot more bang for your money out there, especially if you're gonna buy a condo. And I don't know anything about La Prau. I've been out there, I bought my beach cruiser, but I just took a taxi, and I've certainly been on the train through there many times, but definitely need to uh, go explore, explore La Prau. I see a bunch of lighting centers. This is a little bit of a home decoration area. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, so traffic is uh, really picking up. And here is Nemo Game and Lifestyle Streaming. And here's a Meguiar's Show Car Dealer Center. Well, Meguiar's is probably the brand they use. Wash and Vacuum, 200 baht. Wash and Wax, 350 baht. And this is an American Standard mostly toilets. I, I know American Standard made all kinds of fixtures, but I see a lot of toilets in the window. And off in the distance, it's the Life Building. That's the one I forgot the name of. That is uh, where we're going to find the MRT station. And across the street, the Lantana Hotel. And next door to that is the Veronica Hotel. And Mr. Bruno Mars coming to the National Stadium. I think Ed Sheeran uh, recently played and is that the Prisha complex? Little business area. I like that little coffee trailer below. And that's the street we were uh, walking around there. You see area revenue office 10. So like the IRS in the United States. And I think we, were, we started at the Life Building. If not, there it is. Right on Sudasan. That's the MRT station. 
Hey, so I really appreciate you following along this uh, quick look at the area on this Thursday morning. More videos to come. Have a great day.